The Indiana Soybean Alliance and Purdue University Student Innovation Competition is celebrating 20 years of innovation. This competition, funded by the Indiana Soybean Checkoff, gives students the opportunity to develop products made from Indiana crops. From concept to final product, students compete for the top prize. They see this contest as a way of using their knowledge and their education to try to invent and create new things. I think they enjoy working with one another and uh, coming into the lab, I think they actually do enjoy some of that hands-on stuff and kind of planning what they need to do as well. The numbers of students and the backgrounds of the students has broadened substantially. Um, when I first began, uh, mostly it was students from the College of Agriculture and largely from food science and agricultural and biological engineering. Uh, but now it's very common to have students as diverse as uh, communication, uh, nuclear engineering, um, and disciplines you wouldn't necessarily expect to be interested in uh, soybean-based uh, products. And they typically we've been working with them on one of my part of my class project, and so it, they've worked very well with developing a product out of soybeans uh, for both food and non-food uses but also they've been <clears throat> working on designing a process and a, a plant to actually produce a product. So it's been a great educational experience for them. And it's been exciting for me because it's so much more than just this, our usual senior design projects because they're working with the students from across the campus, different areas, they're working on different things and really trying to bring together a lot of what we try to teach here, but in a practical way. It's excellent. To date, this competition has not only been educational for the students, it's also yielded items that are marketed today like soy crayons and soy candles. Celebrating 20 years of innovation, we invite you to journey back with us and take a quick look at some past winning teams. We invented it because there's a need for a biodegradable ski wax, we believe, because right now it's just hydrocarbon waxes. and. The market is huge and we would like to change that more into a safer sort of ski wax for the environment. So we thought, let's try and do this with soybeans, develop a new thing for soybeans and make it 100% biodegradable. After eight months of research, students Ryan Howard and Faye Mulvaney proved soy ski wax works as well or better than other ski waxes with no impact on the environment. Together, they won $5,000 and the 1998 award for the Outstanding New Use for Soybeans, a contest sponsored by Indiana Soybean Farmers through their checkoff program. These days, there are plenty of soy foods to choose from in the grocery store. But three Purdue students found a gap in the market, no soybean-based snack crackers. Well, we developed a soybean cracker. Um, it's a, we call it soy snaps, but it's a cracker um, that has soy protein in it. It's a soybean-based fortified soy pro fortified uh, cracker. Um, it resembles somewhat of a Ritz, but it has uh, like a garlic flavoring to them. They contain about seven grams of soy protein per serving. So we meet the like health requirement that we are shooting for. This one, it just seemed really practical. The, the uh, use of uh, soy oil for heating, it um, it, it could uh, lower the cost of heating. It can do a lot of different things. Their development and testing of a new product, a blend of 20% soybean oil with 80% traditional heating oil, won them $4,800 and first prize in the Indiana Soybean Board's seventh annual New Uses Contest. Now, let's meet the teams for this year. Our project name is Project Spore. It's a soy-based plant, plant, planting pot that's supposed to be used by home farmers or home gardeners that's supposed to be biodegradable as well as create a revenue stream from an otherwise waste product used from soybean fields, like the chaff and the stems and the leaves and stuff like that. Our team's invention is making a hard shell drug capsule in kind of an oval shape to replace that of gelatin or current research that's being done into HPMC capsules. So what we are working on is uh, edible soy-based popsicle sticks and popsicle. Um, our invention came from the fact we were looking at previous projects and looking at what kind of stuff tended to do best in the contest. And we found that it was uh, on suggestion from Nathan Mosier, our technical advisor, that it was stuff that you find in a store um, 
maybe when you're shopping and you notice that it's made out of soy and that's very interesting. Um, and we also wanted us, our product to be new and innovative, so not in this form on the market. We started, uh, our ideation process started from looking into blotting papers. Blotting papers are a kind of paper that can, that are usually used in the cosmetic industry and we are trying to make a, a blotting, like a similar kind of paper that would be made from soy, like we would be using soy straw which would help us make the pulp of the paper and we would produce a paper out of that soy and eventually we are trying to coat the paper that we make using soy proteins. So we will be using a soy protein solution, prepare a coating out of the soy proteins and coat it on that very paper which would have the properties to absorb the oil. So the invention that we've been working on the last couple of weeks is to create a golf ball that has more ecological materials than the traditional synthetic golf ball material that you see um, and we feel that we can develop a golf ball using soy materials um, that incorporates some of the technology that current golf ball production companies um, are currently researching, namely the liquid core golf ball. Our invention is a soy-based leather boot conditioner. We think our product is uh, advantageous because it doesn't use any animal products or harsh chemicals and it's actually considerably cheaper than boot conditioners that are on the market today. Yes, we are making artisan soy sauce which we are trying to skip the fermentation process so that we can cut down the timing of the actual processing and since we do that we're going to be cutting out the wheat factor because you add in wheat when you actually ferment the soy sauce so we're also going to be creating a gluten-free product as well. We're coming up with a new way to encapsulate fertilizer and um, not only just a new way and um, to control the release and timing of everything but also making it green and utilizing um, the soy uh, waste component or the soy stock. And our plan is to make a new kind of soy based nail polish. Of course I used that before but it is like smelly and toxic. My team is actually doing our senior design project as well as the soy competition. Um, so we're kind of just melding the two together and we're actually making a soy based plastic that's going to be used as a touch screen screen protector to go over electronics like iPads, iPhones, um, iPods, things like that. Our invention is a new bioplastic that's derived from all natural materials, principally soy oil. And this product is intended for use in children's toys as a natural alternative to current petrochemical based products. It's safe, it's sustainable, and it's something that parents can feel good about giving to their kids to play with. So the invention that uh, my team created is a new polymer used specifically for 3D printing. Uh, 3D printing is a very dynamic and um, innovative field and so what we are making is a, some, something specific, a filament specifically used for 3D printing. Our team um, is working on a soy based grout so we're adding some compounds from soy into grout to give it antimicrobial and hydrophobic properties. What we're working on is an air filter uh, for homes, so it's a, a furnace filter essentially. And the main component of the filter, the fiber material, is extracted from soybean fibers. We are working on a soy-based biodegradable hot cup. First of all, it will be a biodegradable product. It will be an alternative compared to other petroleum-based hot cups that are on the market. Uh, we will be hopefully decreasing the cost of production for the supplier and moreover we will be making an extra use of the soy hulls that are produced after soy, soybean food packaging. Seeing the changes in students and the advancement in a lot of different new products is a lot of fun. I mean it's sort of like if you want to think of it being at Apple and seeing the iPads or iPhones or whatever else and see the tremendous creativity that occurs in that for students. It's a lot of fun to see them have a good time learning to do the things that they've learned in class and really be able to explore and do new things that they didn't think they could do and then being able to understand how important that is in what they're going to be doing past Purdue 
and in their real life after education goes. Those are just wonderful benefits you get to see in this kind of activity.